So, redemption song. Um, I thought I would try and make, somebody's asked me for a video lesson on this one, and I thought I'd try and make it um, a little bit more accessible for beginners. What I mean by that is, on the face of it, it's not a very complicated song. Um, but the thing that tends to throw people off a little bit is the rhythm. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to just going to address that a little bit more than we might do, uh, or might have been addressed elsewhere. I'm not sure. The um, I'm going to leave out the lead guitar part because I think there's about a million videos on on doing that, and I've got nothing to add to that that's going to be of any benefit. Go and check that out if you like. It's fairly straightforward. Um, it just a little bit turns around a little bit, so you just got to get your head around it. It's just one of those things. If you're a completely beginner, it, it, it's just practice. So what we have here: G, E minor, C, C slash B, and A minor. And what we're doing is something like, Oh pirates, yes they rob I. So lie to the merchant ships. Minutes after they took I. From the bottomless pin. Um, and it just does that when he repeats that pattern. It sounds to me like he's probably playing it with his thumb. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. The thing is with the rhythm on this is what you've got is. You've got this jig, 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 jig. Jing, 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 jing. It's quite syncopated, and that's where that's what I want to address really mainly in this video. Is you can kind of ignore that to a large extent, okay? Be aware of it, work towards it, mainly if you're going to do it, you're going to do it in downstrokes. You're going to do it in down. You're going to, okay, that's where. But for the beginner who is not got there yet, this is what this is who I'm making this video for, really. Okay, so we're gonna go. Chuck a 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 down up down up down up down up. But just a gentle chuck a chuck a chuck a chuck a. You might find, as I did just then, you can't help go ding, 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 jump, bang. I kind of can't help that, so my apologies if I'm trying to make it simple and I'm actually confusing the fucking thing for you. <laughs> but basically, chaka chaka, okay? So you're going to go G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, C, C slash B, A minor, okay? G, you know. E minor, you know. C, you'll know. C slash B. You take the third finger off, and you put the second finger onto the fifth string in the second fret. So you effectively are moving the bass note down from there to there. Can you see that? Pause and rewind if you can't. That's a C. That's a C slash B. Slash chords are when you change the bass note. Okay. So there's C, and I need, it, I need to move it down from a C to a B, so I do it with my second finger there. You don't hang around on those chords, they're not pretty, they're passing chords. You're going from one place to another, and, and frequently C, C slash B to A minor. It's a passing, it's a step down from C to A minor. Okay? As I say, pause and rewind if you're not familiar with slash chords. It's a good introduction to slash chords, okay? So G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, C for two, C slash B for two, and then A minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Does that make sense? G, E minor, C, C slash B, I hope that makes sense. It does that three times um, it, uh, in the verses, and then on the last one, it goes to a D7 instead of an A minor. 
so you, it's a bit high for me to sing, so I'm, not, I'm really not going to try and ruin it for you. Um, but the last couple of lines were, But my hand was made strong By the hand of the Almighty We fought in this generation C, C slash B to D7 There's a gap, won't you help to sing So basically the chorus is G, two, three, four, C for two, D for two, G. C for two, D for two, G, two, three, four, C, D, G. Get used to that first of all. Okay, and then we'll, so you got, uh, won't you help to sing, two, three, four, C, D, freedom. C minor, and then we go back to the C D G. Redemption song. Repeat that twice. Redemption song. Emancipate yourself, and then we start again. Okay. So watch the strumming, because I'm not going. Although he's doing that, I'm just going chuck and chuck and chuck and chuck and C. the strumming just chuck it chuck it chuck it chuck it you're either going to be counting four four on your g's c and c slash b you're going to count two and in the choruses c and d you're going to count two so there's a kind of there's a pattern there but it's just got variations to it when we come to the break uh, it actually goes to a high e minor something like up this i think Don't worry, you're just going to do the E minor that you're probably familiar with. Normal E minor, C and D. Okay? So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four times. And back to verse two, emancipate. So the verses are the same, the chorus is the same. There's a bit in the middle, E minor, C and D. And just keep that chuck a chuck a chuck. Just keep that going. If you want to try the down strokes, yeah. But I think for most beginners, it's a bit of a step too far. I think a lot of beginners try this song because it's a really popular song and the chords are straightforward, and then they kind of fall apart on the rhythm. Again, that's why I'm making this video. Just count four and go chucka, 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 chucka. And as your experience grows, you can start putting in those sort of kind of syncopated uh, little bits in there, okay? Anyway, when we get to the end, we have all I ever had. stops there I might be C C minus A might so you've got the C C slash B B yeah let's go with that but even so you're gonna go C C slash B blah, blah, blah. I keep saying B when I mean B uh, A minor put the pinky on the third fret and the first string Now you really do need your downstrokes. So downstrokes. Okay. I'm saying this and I haven't actually checked if that's correct, but it sounds all right to me. <laughs> so A minor, you're adding a seventh, which means the pinky goes on the first string in the third, um, third fret. And then right at the last bit, it goes down a fret, second fret. Okay, I'm not going to spend a load of time on that because I haven't checked it before I've made this video. That's how I used to do it. Um, 
play around with it. Play around with it. You know, you've got to kind of do your thing. I've got a feeling I've heard a couple of different versions of this anyway. I think the Johnny, the Joe Strummer one with, with Johnny Cash does one thing. I think there's a live one with, with Bob Marley where he plays it slightly different to the album one. You know, so, you know, have a play around with it. Anyway, I hope that's helped. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. This is, this is getting uh, relatively long for these tuition videos. So, yeah, I hope that's helped.